Hello, welcome back to Top Table Gaming. Uh, Dark Blade here with another demo for you. This one is about well, I was I was just about to do one on Zenithal Priming, and then I realised, you know, uh, people will need to know, you know if they're not familiar with airbrushing, how they know what kit to get, etc. So this is hopefully going to explain a few things for you. So you've gone out to buy an airbrush, and I think you'll be stuck now without all this kit that you see here. I'll try and explain each one in turn. Um, obviously, if you want to do zenithal priming, you'll need the primers. These are really good, but you know, um, you, you can use a like a rattle can air spray to do it. But I say this will give you more precision if you use it through an airbrush. So, if um, if you can go about getting some of these, you can buy the the small you know, regular sized. Um, dropper bottles with them with them in you know you don't have to shell out on the big bottles I just thought you know I'm going to do a lot of priming um, I've had these for over a year now and I've only scratched the surface on them I've got loads more primer left um, along with that you'll need your thinner the, the Tamiya one I find is really good um, you know you, you don't have to use that one you know um, if you can find a decent thinner out there, grab some of that. These two bottles here, um, basically that's just thinner in there. So to stop me using this one, I find it easier to use like a drop bottle. Uh, you can get these from, I think, Air, Everything Airbrush, I think, do large dropper bottles. They do little dropper bottles as well. This one is um, screen wash from Halfords. I use that for flushing out the airbrush in between changing colours. I need to name check um, Darren Davis from Mark Six Mini Painting for that top tip, but I think I think he got it off the internet somewhere. But he he, he won't tell you that. Um, Flow Improver, another one from Darren. You know, great tip is to put some of that in your airbrush before you put your paint in. Then you put your paint in, and then you use your thinner. Uh, shout out to John Harrison for this top tip he's using the isopropyl alcohol to clean out your airbrush afterwards you, know, you can get different kinds of cleaner out there but this is um, this is about the best stuff you can get and it's it's so great uh, the other thing you need you these little brushes that will clean out your airbrush and you can't go wrong with a bit of masking tape you don't have to buy brand stuff if you go to art shops or hobby stores you know they, they make their own brand masking tapes so I just pick some of that up and you're away to go it's just a few other bits that you might find useful they're not essential starting off but if you do if you get into your airbrush and you might find them you know useful later on this is a a pot uh, it's like a waste paint pot once once you've done your spraying you, know, you rest your airbrush on there and get rid of the excess paint into the pot then you use your uh, screen wash fill up your cup spray it all the way through let it run through um, and then you can go on to the next color then the other thing is a quick release valve you can get these from loads of different places like you know, eBay or everything airbrush, I think, to them. Um, this is a handy little device, which I shall show you now. You can connect it to your hose pipe and you connect it to your brush. And when you're in between spraying colours and you need to clean it out, you can just disconnect it like that and you keep the, the air pressure in your, your cylinder because if you didn't have this and you disconnected your hose you're going to lose all the pressure in your cylinder so that's a handy little tool you can grab next thing are these little pots get them from medical suppliers i think uh, probably on ebay they're good for mixing your paint um, and i normally i used to go about putting my uh, flow improver in i'll put my paint in I'll put my thinner in and I'll use a brush to mix it all up. Or sometimes if if the paint is still quite thick, you know, that, that brush going into the cup will start pushing it through towards the end and it'll get clogged. So, you know, 
in certain cases you'll, you'll get to know yourself in certain cases it's always better to mix your paint in a pot and transfer it from the pot into the cup but always put your flow improver in first because that will like moisten the tip uh, moisturize the tip and um, you know it'll stop it getting clogged the other thing if it does get clogged let's clean it with a bog standard toothbrush yeah Okay, so that's the episode done for today. Hopefully you've um, found something useful and you can take away and use yourself. Um, as I say, the, uh, we will be covering Zenithal Priming in a, in a future video, so this will set you up nicely for it. You don't have to buy everything straight away. You can pick things up here and there, you know, spread the cost. You know, not everything is essential starting off. Um, so yeah, hopefully you found it useful. Um, get involved in the comments. Anything you don't understand, please ask. Uh, we'll get back to you. Like and subscribe, please. You know that'll be amazing. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.